lovers, my name is Carrie, and this is Spines and Spoilers. Well, I guess this is starting out early this time. Ezra wants to say hello. <laughs> You're so sweet. You're so, so sweet. You're so, 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 so sweet. Can I record? Thank you. Anyway, hi. Yes, most disappointing reads of 2023. Let's go. This actually isn't a very long list this year. Usually I would at least try for like top 10, but there weren't a lot of disappointing reads this year. Not a lot of bad reads either. Um, and the main complaint is just that they were boring. The first book on my list is I Kissed Shara Wheeler by Casey McKiston. Um, this is one of those books where it was just very underwhelming. Um, there was so much hype surrounding this book and I just did not feel like it was particularly interesting. There wasn't much of anything to draw me in. Um, honestly, it could be the fact that I don't generally read a lot of books like this, you know, that are in a high school setting that heavily focus on the high school element of things. Um, so it could just be the fact that I wasn't really in the demographic that they were writing towards. So it could be entirely on me. Um, but overall, it was just extremely underwhelming. Didn't particularly enjoy it. If it's something that you're into, go for it. It, it is relatively queer friendly. Um, but yeah, definitely look into it a little bit before you decide to read it. The next two actually are by the same author. It's Lucy Foley. Um, it's The Hunting Party and The Paris Apartment. Um, of the two, I probably enjoyed The Paris Apartment a little bit more. Um, the Hunting Party was just such an utter slog, <laughs> honestly. Um, and I could say the same thing about The Paris Apartment, but it was at least a little more interesting. Overall, though, major disappointment considering the fact that Lucy Foley, she's considered to be this influential art author that, you know, you see a little bit of everywhere. You see her on BookTube, Bookstagram, Book Twitter, Book Talk. You see her everywhere, and her books have been suggested to me so many times, and at the end of the day, they were just so boring and underwhelming. Um, I'm not saying that the, the author, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the author, obviously. Um, and these books probably do have an audience, like obviously a lot of people do love them, but I personally did not enjoy them and felt like they were a big disappointment. The next two are by the same author because they're part of the same series. Um, they're The Sorority Murder and Don't Open the Door by Alison Brennan. Um, this is another one where I felt it was extremely underwhelming. I'm not saying that they were terrible. Um, they had some fun elements, and I don't think that they were as boring as the hunting parter party. Um, and it wasn't a complete slog. I just don't feel like it was particularly creative. You know, it was very predictable. And usually, like, you can make up for that if you do it in a creative way um, or find a way to make it interesting. And in this case, I just felt like the characters were pretty forgettable. The storyline was pretty forgettable. I had to look it back up in order to even remember anything about it. And I'm pretty sure I gave these like two or 2.5 stars. Again, nothing against the author. It just wasn't for me. This next one made me sad because I wanted to like it. Um, it was Family Lore by Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, this is the only case this year where I stopped reading a book because I stumbled upon problematic elements. Um, she made fat jokes. Like, the main protagonist in the story made fat jokes. Um, and yeah, at this point I just, I can't condone that shit. Like, it's 2023, guys. It's one thing if it's a book from, like, the 70s, 80s, even 90s. Um, but it's 2023. Please stop. And... Elizabeth Acevedo, she's not fat either. Like, I would say she's barely average sized and just, no, <laughs> no. The last one made me very sad. <laughs> the last book on this list. Um, it's The Book of Life by Deborah Harkness. <sighs> Look, I really want to like these books, okay? And I'm not saying I hate them. I just cannot get into them. They have so many elements that I generally like and I feel like if I had read these books when I was a teenager they would have been completely in my wheelhouse but now as an adult I just I can't get into it it was also disappointing because other people had suggested that I read it so I wasn't just reading it for me initially um, 
And I hate it when I pick up something that someone else suggests. I'm like, I'm sorry, this just isn't for me. But it's not, and I don't know if I'm going to continue reading the series after this one. Um, I don't know. I feel like the second book in the series was maybe the most interesting one. And they're not bad. Please do not think I am calling them bad. I just don't think that they are for me at this point in my life. Which, which is unfortunate. Because they're fun in a lot of ways. But yeah, that's it for my most disappointing books of 2023. Like I said, it was a pretty good reading year overall. Most of my books were somewhere between at least like a 3.5 and a 5 star. Uh, so yeah, not disappointing at all. These were the only ones I think that fell in like the 2 to 2.5 range. I don't believe I had any 1 stars. Uh, if I did, I must have just like completely wiped it from my memory. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're staying safe out there and that you're having a good holiday season, if it's still the holiday season when I post this. Um, my brain has not been the most reliable lately, but let's, <laughs> let's hope that it's still the holiday season whenever this is posted. Um, but I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope that you're having a good time. I really hope that you have a really happy holiday and a happy new year and you're just doing wonderful that you're taking care of yourself and the people you love thank you again for watching it means more than you know if you want you can like and share and subscribe and all that jazz um but what is most important to me is that you remember to love yourself please i'm begging you especially during the holiday season all right bye guys if I say